Good day, human Latiosites. This is Latios Azubril, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Grass Jewel, the official video guide. Here we are in Rustboro City. Last time, we took on the Tanner family and went after Cresselia and Darkrai. This time, we're going to go check out the Daily Planet. So, here we are. Hey there. Hey kid, how about an exclusive? Um, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't really want to give an interview. Reporter Lois leading off with a Pikachu. And we have Teddy up front for whatever reason. I don't know why. Oh god, we're gonna get the static, aren't we? Please don't give me the static paralysis, come on. We got a crit! And no static! No, there's the static. Uh, can't win them all. Next up is gonna be Pichu. I'm actually gonna switch into Speedy. Our counter to electric is our electric type. Okay, let's EQ. Okay, so that is a one-shot. Alright, Speedy. Next up is gonna be Charmander. You know, I can probably use you Speedy for most of these um, Pokemon, probably. I don't know. I can keep up with the EQ. One-hit KO. That's what I'm talking about. Next up is going to be Bulbasaur. We can just Flamethrower on that. Let's do that. I'm pretty sure Speedy counters her whole team. Okay, Bulbasaur's going down. Next up is gonna be Squirtle. Rocking those Kanto starters. Let's Thunderbolt. I think we've got this in the bag. Down goes the Squirtle. Alright, and her final Pokemon is... A top percentage. Pidgey. Hmm. Ah, Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt it is. And down goes the Pidgey. Alright. So we defeat Reporter Lois. I'll take that as a maybe. I'm working on a big Superman story. Oh, then you keep that up then, by all means. By all means, keep it up. All right, do we have a paralyzed heal or a full heal or something? We have a full heal. Let me heal up Teddy. This must be the break room, I'm guessing. Don't tell the chief I'm on an early break. Um. How badly do you want me to not tell? Hmm? Alright, so we are challenged by a fan Jimmy. Alright, Jimmy's leading off with the cast form. Of course, this is the one I'm gonna be better off leading off with Teddy. Why am I not surprised? I'm gonna Moonblast. This probably won't one hit KO, but. whatever. Wow, it did! Alright, cast form is not very strong. Alright, next up is gonna be T Tar. That concerns me, and we don't have Sunny Day anymore. I forgot to get Sunny Day back. You know what? I should have gone into Quacker, actually. I should have gone into Quacker. Alright. Sandstream is up. I'm gonna go for a Moonblast. Really have no reason to go for anything else. Unfortunately, that means the Sandstorm is up for the rest of the, of the battle. Alright, let's Moonblast, and we're just going to have to deal with the Sandstorm the rest of the battle. Alright, we're doing some damage here, though. Crunch, is that the best you've got? Oh, you better not get that special D-drop. You got the special D-drop. Alright, well, you know what? I can only switch out. I don't think that thing is going to be attacking me too much with special moves. Alright. 
I think Tyrannosaur is going down. Heal up all you want. You're not living another Moon Blast. You're not living the Moon Blast. Not even a little bit. Not even with the not even with the special D boost from the Sandstorm. All right. Next up is gonna be Sceptile. I'm gonna go into Rain, because Rain can go for a quad effect of Ice Beam. Even if we are, I don't, you know what, actually that could be a problem. I don't think we're gonna outspeed. And I don't think Rain wants to take an I um, take a Leaf Blade to the face. Well, the leftovers do render the sandstorm moot. I will say that. Dragon Claw. Interesting. Interesting. I mean, it's stabbed, so it's going to do some damage, but... I would have expected a Leaf Blade. Unless you're expecting me to stay in the next turn. But depending on how much damage is, I might actually E-Speed to finish it off. No, wait a minute. I can't E-Speed because you're going to go for a full restore. You're going to just live on the sandstorm damage. Oh, boy. You see, if the sandstorm actually took that thing down, then that would be awesome. But that didn't happen. So I'm just going to go for another Ice Beam. You're going to go for a full restore. If I can get a crit... I mean, that would be a lot more convenient than anything else. Freezing it doesn't really matter, because I can just e-speed it, assuming he's not going to go for a full restore. You see, if this were real, he wouldn't go for a full restore. Wait a minute. We got this. It's going down to the sandstorm. It's going down to the sandstorm. Goodbye. You're going down from your own Tyranitar. Your own Tyranitar took down your Sceptile. Congratulations. <laughs> wow, okay. <clears throat> Silver lining, I guess, for the Sandstorm. Next up is Tropius. I'm gonna actually stay in. Same deal. Same deal. Probably not gonna be a one-hit KO, only because that thing is kind of bulky. But... Rain's probably gonna go down to a to a grass move then. No, we're taking that thing down. We're taking it down. It's going down. Next up is gonna be Blaziken. Hmm. We'll go into Mac. All right. Let's. We're gonna take the sandstorm damage. It's gonna suck, but. That's okay. That's okay. But you have leftovers. Alright. Well, you know what? Let's see how badly you... Let's see how well you can... Oh, we have leftovers too. Let's see how well this Blaziken can take a Psychic. You're gonna outspeed us, obviously, because you're a Blaziken. Why would you Brick Break? That's some decent damage based on Sylveon not having the best physical defense, but still... She would have gone for like a fire, no, like a blaze kick or something. All right, the sandstorm will continue. You're gonna go for a full restore now. That is all too obvious, which is gonna give you a chance for me to get more sandstorm damage on myself. But the worst thing I can do is not take down the blaziken right now. Actually, I'm not going to get any Sandstorm damage with the Leftovers. So you're just wasting my power points and my time. Hope you're happy, Jimmy. Alright, well, you know what? Oh, special D-drop. Alright. Aw. Now you're not going to go for a full restore. If you would have gone for a full restore now, I would have taken you down. But now you're going to end up hitting... You're going to hit Matt with something that's going to take me down. Okay.
You're gonna Earthquake. Matt, I'm sorry. That's not stab, but it's still gonna be enough. That is enough to take down Matt. Easily. Easily enough. Alright. Let's go into... Let's go into Steedy. This is admittedly a little bit more difficult of a battle than the one with Lois. <laughs> admittedly. Alright, next up is going to be Swampert. I don't know how I feel about this, because you're going to get the special defense boost from the Sandstorm. That is a boosted Swampert. It is boosted in the Sandstorm. So... You see, if I had Leaf Blade, now would be the time to use it. If I still had that, but I got rid of it a long time ago. So, let's... I could Fain Attack if I wanted to. Alright. Chikorita, are you going to take this Payday like a boss? Nope! It's a crit. No chance. No chance. None at all. All right, Speedy, let's see what you can do. You're gonna get taken down by an Earthquake. I guarantee you the thing is gonna Earthquake. Unless it paydays. Either way, it's gonna do something that's gonna hurt. But I, I, have to, I have to do what I can. This is gonna do next to nothing. Wow, oh, you're gonna muddy water. That is actually unexpected. No accuracy drop. Sandstorm damage. And you get leftover boosted. Alright. That seems about right. So you're gonna go down to the muddy water now. I'm gonna go into Teddy, I guess. You know what? No. Mm. Only with the Quacker. If we can get a crit, that'll. That will definitely um, bring us up at the top. Alright, the crit would bring us over the top. I only go for the brick break. Can you live a payday? It's not stab, it's from a swamper. Quacker, can you live? I don't think you can based on this. No, no, not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. I don't even know what to think now. Are we actually gonna lose? We have beaten countless trainers on this journey, and we're about to lose to Jimmy Olsen. <laughs> I am appalled. All right, I want a dizzy punch. We're actually outspeeding. I could have gone for the faint. No, actually, no. We have we have the um, quick claw. Teddy, can you live an earthquake stab from a, from a Swampert? It's not super effective, but it is stab. You are gonna live. I am about to just go for the faint attack, just straight up. <laughs> of course we don't get the quick claw boost when it matters. You see how that happens? We only get the quick claw boost when it doesn't matter. When it matters, we can't get it. Now I have to heal someone up who can outspeed the Swampert. So I have to heal up Speedy and hope that Speedy can actually live an Earthquake. I have to hope Speedy can live an Earthquake, because the thing is... Rain is not going to be able to take take an Earthquake to the face. And I doubt Rain can take a Payday to the face. Mm. 
Rain, that's not stab. Somehow live. Somehow live. Come on. Wow! I'm actually... I am actually pleasantly surprised. The thing is, I don't know if Rain is going to be able to... outspeed. Teddy is my backup plan. If Teddy, Teddy can live a stab hit from the Swamper, then I can just feign attack if it comes down to it. Alright, so Rain's going down. Now it's up to Speedy. Speedy, it's now up to you. I don't know how or why, but it is. Okay. The question is, what do I do? Earthquake won't do anything, but maybe that's good. I don't want to bring it into the red zone because Moonblast won't KO it. Oh my god, you're going for Fissure. Thank goodness you're going to miss. Getting greedy there. Getting greedy there. All right, now we have to go for the Moon Blast. It has to land, and it has to KO. Come on. Finally! All right, I thought we defeated Jimmy. I am the man! You are the man! A vacation would be nice. Coming, Chief! We're just getting <laughs> we're getting destroyed. I mean, it's not like we're losing or anything, but still, we are doing less than ideally. I think, maybe not. I don't know. There are more trainers to battle. Hello. Oh, hi. Rich boy Oliver with a Porygon. Well, if you're rich, I guess it makes sense you have Porygon. Tracing the pickup. Okay. Let's Moonblast. You're probably gonna live, actually. Nope, you're not. You're not. It's going down. Next up is gonna be Meganium. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm gonna Moonblast it. We should body its, um, stab. Grass will be neutral on us. But the dragon we were immune to. You're gonna payday though, but it's not stab, it's a physical move from Meganium. Did that actually hurt? Is that a crit? Son of a... Did so much damage. All right, the good thing is we outspeed. We're gonna land another. We're gonna keep moon blasting until this thing stops. Until he stops full restoring. But since he's a rich boy, you can tell. You can tell he that 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 you know. He's gonna keep full restoring. Since he's so rich, you know he's gonna he's gonna full restore again. Wow, he's not full restoring. Wow. I'm actually I'm actually pleasantly surprised. Next up is gonna be Raichu. Speedy, I'm just gonna let you I'm gonna let you go down. I'm gonna earthquake it. Get some super effective damage, you know, it's probably only, only gonna do about a half, yeah. Not nearly enough. You're going for the thunder, wow. Wow. Gotta give you some credit there. Alright, next up, uh, we're gonna go into, I don't know. Chikorita should be able to handle, um... Should be able to handle it and all, but... Really not much I can really do to this thing. 
I'm gonna Moonblast it. We're not gonna outspeed, I don't think, but... Oh my god, we actually are. That is not the fastest Raichu ever, clearly. Volt Tackle. Oh my god, please do a lot of damage. Please do a lot of damage. Please do a lot of damage. Yes! That is a lot of damage. That thing is taking itself down. Alright. Probably one of the few times you'll ever be cheering, you'll ever hear me cheering for the opponent getting a lot of damage. But, you know. You just gotta sometimes do what you gotta do. You're gonna crunch. Don't get the special D drop. Not that it really matters because you're a physical attacker. We're gonna Giga Drain. That's gonna get some health back. Which is probably gonna bring you to about two thirds health. Well, take you down two thirds health. No, not even half. Not even half. Alright. That's actually a bit of a situation here. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how I feel about that. Alright, luckily you're gonna go for a muddy water, which is resisted, but it's probably gonna get the accuracy drop. You didn't get the accuracy drop, we're landing in Giga Drain. So when you get some health back, you're probably gonna turn for another full restore. But we still got the health back, so I will consider it a win, even if you go for the full restore. And based on that, yeah, you're probably gonna go for the full restore. You're not in the red zone, so it's not guaranteed, but you probably will. Yeah, there's the full restore. Once again, I could've gone for the faint attack if I wanted to. But there's no reason to. As I've said before, and I will say it again, there are so many battles I could sweep easily if I went for the feint attack, but unless I feel like I have no other options, I'm not going for the feint attack. That's a backup plan. Alright, let's Giga Drain. You're gonna pay it. that's actually gonna hurt. That is gonna hurt. Oh my god, that did too much damage. In fact, I don't think you're going to go for another full restore. Your best option is just take down Chikorita. You payday, I'm done. If you muddy water, then I then I win. But Oh my god, you're actually going to take the bait and go for a full restore. That's actually not good for me though. I would have rather you just, you know, stayed at low health and taken down Chikorita, but whatever. Okay. We're back in the solid green zone, so that's good. Not for long, though. Chikorita, it's been fun. Oh my god, we're actually living. I am legitimately shocked. I haven't been calculating how much damage we've been getting, but still. Still pleasantly surprised. Alright. The Feraligator is definitely going to attack us this turn. It's going to payday and Chikorita is going down. It goes for a Muddy Water. Then we're in really good shape. Crunch. Interesting. Interesting. I don't think we're living though still. It's a physical move, yeah. Alright, that's not happening. So, let's go into... Teddy, you have a Quick Claw. I would have preferred to go into Speedy, but... You can't always get what you want. Alright, you're not gonna get the quick claw boost, but you're gonna get take a payday to the face. Can you, you should be able to live that if Chikorita could. Alright. Dizzy punch to the face. And that thing's going down. Next up is gonna be oh great. Just awesome.
I have to heal someone up. I have to heal someone up. I can't. I'm gonna need Speedy to handle this. Fortunately, we haven't had to face too many Azumarils because they're kind of strong. <laughs> All right. Speedy, you're up. Oh, that's Thunderbolt. All right. Can we do at least? Yeah, we're doing we're doing well there. Okay, come on, crit, please, crit, crit. Don't even need the crit. We don't even need a crit. Not even necessary. Next up is gonna be Typhlosion. I'm gonna stay in. I probably could go into uh, into rain, but I'm gonna paralyze this thing first. Give me the para. Come on. Come on. Yes. All right. That's what I'm talking about. You're gonna land your payday. That's gonna hurt, but not nearly as much as it should as it could. You're gonna do a little over half with two at KO, but you are very paralyzed. I think you used up your full restores already, so I'm not concerned about you healing up. And this shouldn't be. Yeah, that's not even gonna put you into. It. Oh, you have Thunder Punch though. Oh my god, you get the para on me! Paralyzed electric type. Oh my god. You know, I should have earthquaked. I should have gone for the earthquake. You're gonna live. No, you're not gonna live. You're going down. Okay, so we defeated Oliver. Wow. I need to heal up again. I have a feeling the Daily Planet is going to be an entire episode. <laughs> I have a feeling that's all we're going to do today. So if you were wondering why this area was blocked off when you first got to Rustboro, now you know why. Or at least you, you should have a decent idea why. Hey, how's it going? Eh, fine, how's it going with you? So, Lady Chloe. Alright, you've got a Dugong. Alright, we've faced Dugong before. We're good with this. Take a Thunderbolt to the face, why don't you? One hit KO. Goodbye, Dugong. Next up is gonna be. Ah, oh, great. Because we haven't faced nearly enough of these Zeptiles. Okay. There's the Leaf Blade. Speedy has met his match. Ouch, that- is that a crit? That is a crit, yeah. Oh my god. I know it has a high crit ratio, but still. Still. Ah. All right. Payday. Thank, thank you for not leaf blading. That's not gonna crit. All right. Ice beam. That should probably bring it into the full restore range. Which means if we can get a crit, you know, we can make things happen. No, we're taking that thing down. Straight up one hit KO. Next up is. You gotta be kidding me. Next up is something I would like to use Speedy for. Wow. Just wow. Just, just wow. Alright, let's brick break. We're out speeding. This isn't gonna KO unless we crit. We would need a crit. Which we're not getting. You're gonna blizzard, right? Clacker, it has been fun, but you're not living. You're not living this. That's just not happening. Ugh. Yeah. 
That was a bit inevitable. Alright, Teddy, you're up. <gasps> no, I didn't mean to fade attack. I meant to brick break. I meant to brick break. Whatever, that thing's going down. Whatever. Brick break would have been enough anyway, I'm pretty sure. Next has Blaziken. I'm gonna go into Matt. I'm just gonna go into Matt. We can go for a Psychic on this thing. If you don't think it wants to take a Psychic. Okay, we are gonna be taking that Pager to the face. That's gonna hurt. I'm pretty sure a Blaze Kick would probably do more, though. Or any other physical fire move. If we can get the special D drop, I would be happy. We're not getting it. Which means that Matt is going down this turn. Because we're not going to outspeed, we're not going to live a hit. So. I am going to heal up Speedy. Because otherwise, I'm wasting my turn. If I do anything other than heal up Speedy, I'm wasting a turn because Matt's not going to be able to land a hit. Not going to live long enough to. That payday is going to take me down. So that is how to forfeit the battle in order to win the war. Alright, Rain. You're in. Okay. So let's surf it up. You're gonna brick break. I don't know how I feel about that because it's stab and you're a Blaziken. We're gonna live though. Rain, well done. Surf is gonna take you down. You're not living. You're not living. No, don't even Don't even pretend to live. Alright, next up is gonna be another Azumarill. Now by another I mean we faced him last time. So Let's go. Alright, play that's Thunderbolt. And that is gonna be a one-hit KO. And the last Pokemon is gonna be a Swampert. I'm gonna go in the Chikorita. The good thing is, there is no Sandstorm up to be giving this Swampert a boost, so we are going to be good to go with a Giga Drain here. So, oh my god, that Payday is going to hurt, though. You got a crit. You got a crit. I'm pretty sure the crit mattered. I am pretty certain that crit mattered. Okay. You know what? Let's go for the Moonblast. And you're gonna go for an Earthquake! Oh my god! Speedy, can you live somehow? I don't think you're living a Stab Earthquake from the Swampert. Nope. Nope. Not even. Not, not even. Alright. I'm just gonna Dizzy Punch or something. I'm gonna Dizzy Punch. Give me the confusion. Give me the confusion, come on. Nope! Nope. Mm-mm. Teddy, can you live? <sighs> nope. <laughs> I just went up straight up for the feint attack because we might have gotten the... Might have outsped. You never know. You never know. Well, you know what? I am going to stake the entire battle on a gamble then. I could just keep healing up Pokemon until we manage to outmaneuver, which... I probably could do. 
In fact, the Swamper cannot, without a crit, one-shot Chikorita. Because, unless it went for a one-hit KO move, which it might have. It ha if it has Spain Attack, then, then, then we're done. But, Payday without a crit will not one-hit KO Chikorita. What are, um, Muddy Water, nor Earthquake Will. Here we go. You're gonna Rock Slide. So you don't have Fane Attack. But you got the flinch! This AI is too real. This AI is too real. Oh my god. Oh my god, now I have to hope for the best, because that means Chikorita can't take a crit. If that thing can crit me, then it wins. Meaning I go for a Giga Drain, then he goes for, well she I guess, but well technically the Swamper to he. I go for Giga Drain, but it's going for Rock Slide to get the flinch. If you get another flinch, then we lose. Oh my god! What the heck is up with this? So many flinches! That thing is so broken. I don't even know who to heal up. I guess Teddy. <laughs> now you're gonna Earthquake, which is actually, we should live. We should easily live a Stab Earthquake from a Small Bird because it's resisted. All right. You see, that would've been the turn to Giga Drain. That would've been the time to Giga Drain. But alas. All right, you're gonna finish me off now. And that's okay, because I am going to heal up, I don't know, uh, Speedy. Speedy can at least attack. Although Rain probably could as well. <sighs> Teddy, can you use your, can you use your Quick Claw, please? I... <laughs> I mean, we can just keep going. Alright, I need you to live in Earthquake. I bet you it crits, too. I bet you it gets the crit. Alright. That's game. <laughs> I probably could have gotten to a point where I healed everyone up with a max revive. That would be full health, and I could just slowly taper off its health with, um, Chikorita with a Giga Drain, or with whatever, assuming I don't get a flinch. But! Uh, we're apparently as strong as the blur. I miss chasing after stories. Well, that's a shame. So. We are making our way slowly through the Daily Planet. These battles are not easy. <laughs> All right. Okay, so. Next battle. New to the city? Um, not that new. I don't know. So, Reporter Cat Grant. All right. And of course she has a cat. Okay. Let's go for a Moonblast. I don't think that thing wants to take a Moonblast. I really don't think it does. No, it doesn't. All right. So Skitty's going down. Next up is going to be Azuril. Of course. Of course. You see, the thing is, I'm having more trouble with the Azumarils than I am with the Azumarils. 
Oh my god! Epic justice. Epic justice. Epic justice. I have no words. I have no words. Words escape me. Epic justice. And it's spamming it. Oh my god. It's spamming epic justice. Epic justice is pretty much like fiend attack. Just FYI. Oh my god. Alright, it's gonna go for a stupid muddy water right now. And I say stupid because it's against rain. Uh, but, let's see how much damage we can do with a surf. I need to get this to a point where... I think that's actually the perfect amount of health. That is the perfect amount of damage. Because now we can go for another surf and that should finish it off. As long as it doesn't go for an epic justice. You have to be careful of those epic justices. <laughs> and goodbye, Azuril. Alright. Next up is gonna be a Meowth. Let's go into Quacker. I can't believe we got hit by the epic justice. Alright. Let's brick break. I don't think that Meowth wants to take a brick break from, um, stab brick break from, from, uh, Quacker. Even without the crit. We got this. Alright, next up is gonna be a Poochiana. Same deal. Same deal. Alright. So, Poochiana's going down. Next up is gonna be an Eevee. Alright. I think we can keep this up. Does Eevee want to take the Brick Break, though? Eevee- we're getting a crit. Thank you, Stick. Alright. Thank you, Stick. Next up is gonna be- Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. This has to be a joke. Alright. I'm gonna sand attack this thing. If I live. Which might not happen. Nope! Didn't even matter what I was gonna do. Didn't even matter. Matt? Just... Sand attack. Now I need this thing to keep missing. Attract! Why am I not even surprised? I am not surprised. Matt, don't you dare be fully infatuated. Thank you. And it has feint attack. We have been lucky thus far not to be hit by all these feint attacks and epic justices, but... Apparently our luck has expired. Alright, you know what? It's time to just... Nope! 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 Nope, we're not outspeeding. You're not gonna miss. And we're getting hit by the pain attack. I mean, I guess one could say it is technically karmic retribution by missing the faint by getting out faint attacked, but still... Still. We need to use that Quick Claw. We need that Quick Claw to actually activate for once. And you're just spamming Bane Attack now. Okay. 
Here's the question. Do I leave it up to fate? Do I leave it up to fate and not feign attack? I'm not going to leave it up to fate. I'm just going to keep going until this thing misses something. Or until we live something. I don't even know. I don't even care. If you're going to keep feign attacking, I can't attack you. Because I probably won't trigger the Quick Claw. And if I don't trigger the Quick Claw, that'll mean we lose the battle. So we are at that point in the game where it's pretty much... It's pretty much just going to go back and forth until I manage to avoid a hit where she stops going for Fane Attack. And that could be a while. Alright, she's going to miss a hit. Now I'm actually going to heal up someone else. I'm going to go for Matt. Probably should have gone for Speedy, but... Whatever. Luckily, she did stop going for those fan attacks. Can check her way to live the payday. Nope. 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 Alright. I need this thing to not fan attack now. So we can actually land a hit. Oh my god! You're gonna keep... Ugh. You see, if I would have gone for a feint attack with Chikorita, we would have won this battle already. If I would have triggered the Quick Claw with Teddy, we would have won this battle already. This Blissey just is feint attacking all day. Hey, Dave. And Matt probably doesn't want to take this. Eh. Alright. Kill up Chikorita, you're gonna probably take down Matt now. That's an, that was inevitable. Now, Chikorita goes in. Okay. Let's go. You're gonna miss, and that's game. That is game. I'm done playing around. If you're gonna faint attack me, I'm gonna faint attack you. <laughs> there are mind games involved in the faint attack thing, though. So with that, we defeated Reporter Cat Grant. Here's my number. Call me sometime. Did she, did she just try to pick us up? I'm hungry. How about some tsunami? Alright. You know what? That's... That's weird. That's weird. Alright. Not out of character for her, but weird. Okay. We've healed up. Now let's go back into the Daily Planet. Hey, we're riding a bicycle inside. That's funny. Hello, how's it going? Oh, fine. How's it going with you? So, Reporter Clark. With the Charizard. Alright, you know what? Let's Thunderbolt. Let's just start this right off the right way. I'm not messing around anymore. You're gonna live. Can para please? No para? Fire blast. I bet you get the burn. I bet you you get the burn. Because hacks just seems to happen so much in this in this game. Alright, you didn't get the burn, but that did so much damage! Oh my goodness, it did so much damage. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna keep Thunderbolting. Of course, I'm doing a lot of damage too, so I shouldn't be too shocked. Alright.
Para? Come on. No, uh, it doesn't even really... I don't think it matters that much. If we're out speeding, it shouldn't make a difference. You're either gonna full restore or you're not. So there we go, the Charizard's going down. Goodbye, Charizard. Alright, next up is gonna be Feraligator. Might as well stay in. Speedy's gonna get taken down. But I can at least land a Thunderbolt beforehand. So. Para? No? Goodbye, Speedy. It's been fun. Alright. <laughs> it's a crit on top. Alright. The crit didn't matter, let's face it. But. Let's go into. Let's go into Chikorita. You're in. You're in heal range. But you're not gonna heal! Wow. Wow. I'm actually surprised. You didn't get the accuracy drop, and now you're going down! That thing's going down. It's not living a Giga Drain at this. This range. No. Not even a little bit. Alright, so the for alligator is done. Next up is gonna be Azumarill. And of course Speedy fainted. Of course. Alright, let's Giga Drain. Although I probably cut I mean, eh, Giga Drain's better than Sludge Bomb. Either one's super effective, but still. This will at least get his health back too. And eh. That actually did enough damage. And we're back at full health. Yeah, we definitely made the right play. Alright. You're gonna be able to- Oh my god, you keep up, Blizzard. You know what, Chikorita, it's been fun. You're not living that. You're not living that. If you do, then awesome. It's not stab, so yeah, you're living. Just don't freeze. Oh my god, you're gonna freeze! <gasps> Chikorita! Oh my goodness! That has got to be the most surprising turn that I've been through. First, you live the Blizzard. Then you get frozen. Then you defrost. All within like one turn. Typhlosion, I'm going to rain. All of that within one turn. Living the blizzard, freezing, and default and defrosting. Alright, next up is Typhlosion. Let's go for a surf. You're gonna earthquake. That's actually gonna hurt. I don't know how I feel about that. A physical move on rain, and you got a crit. I'm pretty sure then that even without a crit, you're gonna be able to KO at this range. So that crit definitely mattered a lot. Unless the leftovers managed to bring us over the top, but I, I don't know. Yeah, we. Mm, I can't tell. A payday? That is gonna do more. <laughs> no, we're gonna live! We're living! So, goodbye Typhlosion. The leftovers made the difference. I don't know what else I could possibly say about that. Alright, Meganium. I think Ice Beam is the way to go. Rain is not gonna live a hit from the Meganium. But, no, we're not out speeding either. Sorry, rain's done. I made a mistake. I misplayed pretty badly there. But we do get to go into mat. That thing does have Sludge Bomb, which is a threat, but we do have a decent special defense. So, two Moon Blast should be enough. But we're not out speeding this thing, which is going to be a problem. I might have to heal up speedy, depending on damage output. As long as you don't poison this, we're good. And this can do over half. Them were great. Eh. That did a lot. That did that did enough. That did enough. Now another moon blast will win it, which means as long as 
As long as you don't crit, we're good. If you crit, then we're in trouble. If you poison this, we're still going to take on the Meganium. You're not getting the poison. We're landing the Moonblast. And Meganium's going down. Okay. Next up is going to be Dragonite. Okay. You can handle that. We can handle a Dragonite, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, multi-scale is not a thing. Get wrecked. So we defeated Reporter Clark. Alright. What do you think of this article? Hmm. I'd say it must be, um, super. Okay, so I think we have one more battle on the Daily Planet. Oh my goodness. These post-game battles just take forever. <laughs> they really do. And I should probably buy more, um, re um, revives and stuff. So let's do it. Let's buy... more of these. We have all the money we need, so hey, why not? Hey there. Why is there a bed in your office? It's like you practically live here. <laughs> Great Shades of Elvis! Okay. So, Reporter Perry. Alright, the Editor-in-Chief with the Venusaur. Hmm, let's Flamethrower. So I think after this, I think I'll call it a day. <laughs> um, can we get a burn? We're getting the burn! We're snagging that burn, which means that Venusaur is getting wrecked. You're gonna slam on us, really? That's the best you got? Is that the best you've got? No, that burn made... That burn makes the difference. That definitely made the difference. Now you're going out of the flamethrower. You're not living. You're not living. No. No way. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. All right. Next up is going to be Charizard. I think we can just Thunderbolt. I would consider switching up the Thunder for speedy, but honestly, I like the accuracy. Albeit, Thunder is a little bit more accurate in this game than normal, but it's still not totally accurate. Aeroblast. Thank you! Thank you. We're living that so well. Unless you get a crit. Unless you get the crit. You're not getting the crit. You're getting wrecked. Just, just get wrecked. Get wrecked. You're not going for a full restore. We're good. We're good. Easy mode. Easy mode. All right. So, Charizard is done. Next up is going to be Plusle. Ah, we can stay in for that. Let's Earthquake. Earthquake does seem like the way to go. And... Wrecked. Alright, next up is gonna be Minin, of course. Alright. Go for another earthquake. So far, this battle is a lot less intense. <laughs> All right. Next up is Hypno. That's a bit different. Let's go into. I don't know who to go. I'll go into Rain and Crunch on it. Land in that crunch. I'd say it's about crunch time. Alright. Ah, 
And you're gonna body slam. I bet you get the para. You're gonna get a para, aren't you? You're not getting the para? That is awesome. That is awesome. Alright. You're probably gonna go for a full restore now. Which is why I don't wanna go for a crunch now. Yeah, there's the full restore. I knew you had them. But Surf shouldn't do as much as Crunch did. As such, it, he's probably not going to go for another full restore. The last thing I need is this thing to pull a Dark Ride and go for Hypnosis and put me to sleep. Good thing Dark Void's not a thing in 3rd gen. Alright. So you can get the leftover boost, but that's fine, because we're going to land a Surf and you're going down. And then you'll be going into your final Pokemon. Which is going to be a Blastoise. Pretty predictable. Well, fairly predictable. Alright, so many starters in this place. Alright. Let's Thunderbolt. If we can get the para, we're in really good shape. We're not getting a parrot. You're going for a bubble beam, which means you might actually outspeed us if you get the speed drop. You're not getting a speed drop, which means we win the game. <laughs> Alright, you're not coming for a full restore. We're outspeeding you. And that is game. Okay. And it's a crit just for good measure. Alright. So we defeated Perry. You win. Now get to work. I don't work here. Dude, I don't work here, so sorry. See, I could just, you know, bicycle around because I don't work here. Ha. Ah. This is a newspaper, not a playground. Oh, okay. Then I guess I won't be biking around. Whatever. So that is the Daily Planet. That is, uh, that is definitely one plate shift they're running. And those are some powerful trainers. So those of you who want to, who want to challenge them on your own in the game, good luck. I don't recommend going after them until your Pokemon are... At least one Pokemon is powerful in level 100. So, here we end at the Crashdown Cafe. Next time, we're gonna head in, and we're gonna check out what is going on in here. So, thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.